Welcome to Dr. Just Runs, and I'm gonna rant about more race swaps. Because after all, the, co the bankrupt creativity of... No, Hollywood is br creatively bankrupt. I think that's the best way to describe it. Well, let's go forth and talk about it. From Screen Rant, Titan Season 3, Redcon Season 2's backfire ending. What the fuck? Titan Season 2 ended with the promise of a sibling, sh sibling showdown between Starfire and Blackfire, but Season 3 has other ideas for the Tamaran sisters. Look, they have already made it absolutely hilariously bad. The race swap for Starfire. She looks a bit weird. No, let's face it, she is definitely not the best looking Starfire out there. I mean, they could have picked up a multitude of other actresses and if you're going to goddamn fucking race swapped one actress at least um, well the character at least make sure you pick up i don't know i don't know maybe someone a little bit better looking at least somebody who is not uh, absolutely outrageously bad looking but uh well, they didn't. Okay, this is the best... Uh, why is it a meme? Either way, this is the current Starfire Netflix adaptation. Well, actually, this is mostly a joke. It's not a Netflix show, I think. Well, to just so you know, this is what they look like. It's the quick meme I had to find because I actually forgot to actually show her. This is the original. Yes, this is how they, you know, they were supposed to look like. Starfire, Blackfire. Do you see the difference? <clears throat> She's supposed to be a redhead, but she ain't. No. Yeah. Ah, the jokes. That this thing can be... Look, 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 look at it. See, see. Completely and utterly different. But don't worry, don't worry. I've actually added it to my... Um, to my beautiful list, which is here. Uh, okay. Ah, finally. Blackfire. Here it is, number 27. And then we have Starfire, which is... Uh, sorry. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Ah, here it is. Jesus Christ. Here it is. Oh, I forgot to actually change the date. It's 2018. I, act, I actually added this prior to 2018, and I forgot to change the date. Whoopsie daisy! But either way, this is more evidence that... Wah. Holy shit, that makes 186. 186, as far as I know, of race swaps. I'm not going to read the article, My, the entire point of me talking about it is the actual race swaps. Because... No, let me drink some coffee because this is thing this thing here is absolutely retarded. Mm. 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 Coffee. Delicious coffee. Well anyway. This is absolutely fucking retarded. Because let's face it. If Hollywood was actually, I don't know, caring about the stuff, the lore, or anything like that, and they wanted to actually add diversity into a TV show, they will do the responsible thing and create another character. Another character that they could actually write comic books about it, but they don't. As far as I know, there are no Spartan comic books, and that I find it to be criminal. Well, quite frankly, I've pretty much zoned out of DC and Marvel comics because, quite frankly, they are just not worth my time to even keep up with. Not even my interest anymore because they definitely have shown to everybody that they don't care about anything else but pandering to a demographic that doesn't like their comic books or rarely buy their comics. So, I haven't been keeping up, if there is or there is not a Spartan comic book. Hopefully there is, but as far as I know, there isn't. 
And in that case, Spartan was a new character created for the arrow, thus for the green arrow. They, instead of actually race swapping, gender swapping or whatever, and a pre-existing character, what did they do? They created a new character to be Oliver Queen's bodyguard. And he is a wholesome character, a character that, I don't know, the act, I don't know if it's the actor who is really, really good at what he does, or is it the actual character that was well written? I don't know, but it makes you very, it makes you like the character even more, and it makes you root for him even more. And I, I mean, he's like the average Joe, as in, like a, a guy who could potentially exist. Very real, has no superpowers, kind of like uh, Oliver Queen, but he came out of nowhere and then began and he uses guns instead of arrows. It's awesome. Why couldn't they do the same system? That not only that makes it uh, respect the, the actor's race or whatever, the, um, the whole demographic, it respects the lore, it respects the fans, <clears throat> it respects everything and everybody. And what do they do? What do they do? No, they prefer to race you up instead of following the Spartan methodology, the method, the system. You should use that to make TV shows adaptations or whatever you want to do just don't really swap create something new people will like it if it's well done like but but then again we are dealing with people who actually guzzle soy drink so much soy that they are going to get high on soy obviously that's supposed to be a meme because soy actually doesn't lower your testosterone or anything like that uh, and what was I? Oh yeah, they are so goddamn lazy and so goddamn fucking mentally bankrupt and creatively bankrupt that they are so afraid of offending anybody and getting their punches in a bunch that they, instead of creating something new, they prefer to race swap because that's the safest way for them to proceed. Because the pronoun mob will then come to their defense when people criticize their fucking nonsensical bullshit. That's how and why they do it. God. Damn it, Hollywood, you're a disappointment, a sad, sad state of affairs. <sighs> anyway, if you like this type of content, stay right here on youtube.com slash professor. If you prefer more exclusive content, head to beachhood.com slash professor, reminds.com slash professor, or, hmm, no, not or, this is the outro, so. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell button if you like this beautiful face. And from what I'm told, yes, from what I'm told, I am an astonishingly awesome dude. I even updated the about section of my channel. Added there a few messages of love and approval. Anyway, on that bombshell, have a great fucking night.